Now, I'm not quite sure where we left off when I fell in the mud and uh, we ran out of memory in the camera. I guess it all sort of happened together. So we'll take a look back at the deck here. And by the way, this is another one of these, I think this is the golden Hinoki Cypress. Um, not sure how the color's coming out with the sun we've got. Um, we think they're real cute. And there's more on the other side. What's interesting about this bed, of course, all of these have sprinklers. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to zoom in. Actually, I will. Point in and you can see a little sprinkler head and it pops up and it sprays the bed. There are ten different zones and they're all on timers. Anyway, back along the side of the deck again. And in the shade, I sure hope those guys get enough sun during the year. Eh, they're getting some sun this morning. Some burgundy begonias. So, we'll move around here and uh, take you back to the last big bed in the house. Now, just ignore that trash. Uh, that's all going to go when the fence gets put in. But for the moment, at least we got somebody to clean our yard. <laughs> um, those are verburna, viburnum along the edge of the fence. Those four, they put out white flowers and they'll fill in nicely. And in the front are what they call double knockout roses. These guys down in front here. Um, no leftover rows to look at at the moment. The large spruce tree. Um, there were a number of dead trees back here. Dead holly bushes, a dead dogwood. Um, so we just sort of filled things in. And uh, that pink spot you see back there, that's Redford. The bucket's only there because I had to add some dirt. So Redford's, Redford's doing fine. And he's got daisies planted at the top of his little grave there. This is another dogwood. These all, th all three of these trees are dogwoods, which means they'll put out and maintain for quite a while in the spring. Lovely white, just creamy white flowers. Oh, hey, here's a pretty one. Let's move in and see if we can't take a look at the color of these. And uh, actually get some color. That's not bad. So these are planted quite a bit sort of throughout the yard. Can't remember what they're called. I keep forgetting. I, there's over 200 and some plants here, so don't expect me to remember what. Hey, here's a tag. Let's take a look at what it is. It's just a geranium. I should have known that. Anyway, so loads of geraniums, very pretty geraniums. Um, color is just all right. I hope you like it as well. In the back, because they like shade, I'll zoom back there a little bit, are rhododendrons. And there, oh I know what uh, I forgot to mention on the side, we had a number of hydrangea. And they're the ones that put out these big flowers, they're bigger than your fist, about the size of a grapefruit. It look like puffballs and they come in a nice light blue, white, and pink, and I think maybe a lavender. Um, so we're going to have some lovely hydrangeas. Oh, I have to find a tag to find out what these guys are. I think these are black-eyed Susans, which are like giant daisies. Sure enough, I see a tag right now. That's what it is. It's a black-eyed Susan. Or is it? Let's take a look. Yep. It's called Goldstorm. But anyway, as you can see, it's basically like a daisy. And daisies are important to us. They were Redford's favorite flower. Um, and these last for a long time. Now, the arbor vita that you see along the back fence, those were originally somewhere else in the yard and I had them transplanted. This unwieldy thing that looks like it needs a haircut is actually local mint. And that pot isn't really a pot. It's open on the bottom and the mint just grows up. So I'm going to cut it down in a week or two, cut it back, and come springtime the mint will come back. And it's the mint that I use um, cooking, to say the least. This is a butter butterfly bush. There's one on each side of the garden. Uh, we should ignore the garden. I'm going to put a new fence up and try and make it not look so tacky since we've got this lovely landscaping. These are lamb's ears and they'll fill in eventually and the goal is to hide the timber from the garden. I'm not sure that plan's going to work. That was the original intent. We'll move along the back again. I think we started out here, but as you can see there's some more Arborvita, those were transplanted from 
next to the original fence and I was glad to be able to recycle eight very healthy plants and they seem to be doing well and this is our rose bed these are all roses and uh, maybe we took a look at this one before but uh, this bush is doing pretty well and a nice one there